Oh, this morning in the hole, we have world champion Rick Dunn, owner of Echo Calls. And y'all welcome to the second edition of Locked and Loaded. Now, Rick, decoys. How important are decoys to the way you hunt? Well, they're important to the way anybody hunts. That's right. Now, I mean, it, but definitely, you know, there's a difference in setting them in timber. And I know you got that hole at the 160 and some other places and stuff. But you got to change your decoy spread for the type of hole you're hunting. So give us a little bit of insight, like, <laughs> let's say if you're timber hunting. Okay, we y'all just keep on duck hunting. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Oh, no, you, you, <laughs> just, you just talk on, dude. Well, no. I think the most important thing is set them up for the wind. <laughs> You gotta have the wind exactly right for the decoys. So it's always about which way the wind's blowing. Now in the timber, you know, most holes are circular along the kind of, Do you want the decoys on the far end? Do you like them up against you? Or it kind of gives us the feedback on that. Well, a lot of times, you know, it's all according to what time of season it is. So you know, there are so many variables involved. Well, give us a few of them. Well, early in season, you know, put a lot of ducks at the middle of the hole and land the ducks in the middle of the hole. But later in the season, you know, they want to go to some cover. So if you've got some cover at one end of the hole, you can put the decoys right in front of it and then get right in there by the cover and, you know, you keep them right there. So, you know, everything's different. Every day's different, you know. So you just got to, with time, the more you do it, the more you understand exactly what's going to happen and what's going to work the best. Yeah, and then water movement. And water movement is real important. I mean, if you if you got a decoy spread, let's say, of two or three dozen, you only need one duck stream. But you need the guys kicking water, moving water. Yeah. But if you got five, six dozen, you better have a couple of jerk streams. Don't you agree? Well, I agree, yeah. The more water movement you got, the better. Now, if you're hunting lakes, let's say, that sort of thing, how do you like to see a spread? Well, a lot of times, you know, of course, it's... Again, we're talking Oxbow Lakes, you Oxbow know. Oxbow Lake, a lot of times it's the wind. You know, if you set them up... A lot of those off lakes, they leave the decoys out. But if you're setting the decoys up, you know, you want to start your spread. Uh, let's say you got the wind at your back and it's coming at your back and, and the ducks are going to land, you know, more towards you. You know, uh, a lot of times if you got like, if it's at your back and it's southeast, so it's a little bit to your right at the back, you know, you want to kind of open up so the ducks are going to land from your left, if you're facing them, yeah. back towards you. So, you know, leave a little gap right there and uh, and then put your decoys from that point down. But, you know, every day's different. And when mm -hmm. you say that point down, just right at the end of the hole before, before the fly out, you kind of have what you call, what we call blockers. Yeah. You know, a few, you know, half a dozen, six, eight yeah. decoys, that sort of thing. But, exactly. But no, I mean, so the decoy spread and decoys, how good your decoys look and movement, all of it plays a huge variable in having a successful duck hunting. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of people don't understand, uh, late in the season, a lot of times some ducks, they won't see a lot of decoys, but then again, a lot of times, they don't. They don't. And there's a lot of times we'll go out there and a dozen decoys late in the year is all you need as long as you got the decoys. You think they're going to get these ducks in? I don't know. They've been yeah. working on oh, them yeah. since we've been talking. Yeah, hold on just one second. Time out. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a courtship flight. They were all drapes, about nine of them. Oh, it'd be nice to get them in here, but that it. don't happen very often. <laughs> no, they keep flying all most of the time. I've yeah, got them they psych one. you out real good, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> But, well, listen, guys, second edition with Mr. Rick Dunn here, Echo Calls in the hole, locked and loaded. <laughs> Brought to you by Mud Buddy and XL Boats, I guarantee.